Welcome back to Latilidi. In today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this blurry glass effect with texture in Adobe Illustrator. The method is very easy and simple, just like the previous videos where everything is easy to follow even for a beginner. If you pay attention to the effect of this glass, it also has a texture so that it looks more realistic, so the object behind this glass follows the contours of the texture on the glass. Watch the full video and don't forget to subscribe or like. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask in the comments column. Without any further ado, let's jump into Adobe Illustrator. First thing first, create a document with RGB color mode. Remember it must be in RGB, cause many people don't get the same result with my previews videos because they skipped this step. Now, we gonna make an artwork as a background, which on this background we will put the glass effect on it. It doesn't matter what the background is, you can make it freely however you want. First create a rectangle for the base using the rectangle tool. I'm going to color it with orange from the color palette I've created. You can get the color code in the description, or you can download it on Latilidi's blog. You can also get the source file of this project there. I put the link in the description. Okay, let's go back to the background. For an additional accent on this background I will give it a trapezoidal shape. Make a rectangle first. Color it with red which is in the palette by using the eyedropper tool. Then use the direct selection tool to select one of the anchor points in one of the corners of this square. Move it until the sides are tilted 45 degrees. To make sure this side is 45 degrees, we need a guide. Create this guide by enabling the rulers first. Go to the view menu. Rulers. Show rulers. Or simply, you can press Ctrl plus R on the keyboard. After these rulers appear, Point the cursor to the left side of the rulers next to the toolbar. Click and hold. Lift it to the artboard. This will bring up a light blue guideline. We can also select it with the selection tool and move it to the area we need. The interesting part of this guide is that we can also rotate it, but you can't find the bounding box in this guide. It's not the same as objects if selected. They have bounding box that allow us to rotate them like this. And to rotate these guidelines we have to open the transform panel. You can find it in the window menu. In the transform panel, there is a section for editing angles right here. You can directly set in the angle value, but make sure this guideline is selected first. Set the angel value to minus 45 degrees. Place this guide close to the beveled side of the trapezoid. Back again to direct selection tool, and fix this trapezoid. Because we don't need this guide anymore, we can delete it by pressing the delete button on the keyboard. Duplicate this trapezoid by pressing the alt key on the keyboard while sliding it little bit out of the artboard so there are still shorter trapezoid inside the artboard. And give it a blue color by sampling the color on the palette using the eyedropper tool. Now I'm going to remove the rest of the objects that are outside of the artboard. Select all existing objects. Then go to Shape Builder tool. Press the Alt key on the keyboard to delete the part that is outside the artboard. Just left click to instantly delete it. Now, the first step of the background has been completed. Select them all and lock them, so we can work uninterrupted. Next, I'm going to create another object on top of this background base. Create a circle using the Ellipse tool. Click anywhere in the artboard area. Fill height with 270 by 270 pixels. Switch the fill to stroke. And set the stroke weight to maximum until it's covered the entire circle. Quick tips. If the size of the circle is 270 pixel, then the stroke weight must be 270 point to cover the entire circle. Now, we gonna give this stroke of the circle with gradient color. Open the gradient panel. On the gradient annotator, select the color stop that has a white. Use this eyedropper tool that gradient panel has. Pick the yellow on the color palette. Select the other color stop. And pick the red one. Still in the gradient panel, change the stroke to apply gradient along stroke. With this stroke, the gradient result would be like this. It's look like the top side of the cone. Rotate this cone to 45 degrees. 
Quick tips for easy rotate in Adobe Illustrator is just hold the shift key on the keyboard to rotate the object every 45 degrees. Adjust the position until the line of the cone meets the background line. The rest, just duplicate this cone with Alt key and drag. Change the size to 170 pixel, as well as the stroke weight to 170 point. Right click on the new cone, transform, and reflect. Select vertical axis and click OK. Again, rotate with minus 45 degrees. Adjust the position of these two cones so the yellow part meets each other and parallels with the background line. Now the full background is finished. And for the final touch, I give it a 45 degree text. The last step is create the glass effect. Because it's final background, so we have to unlock this base background that we have made before. Just right click on it if you use the 2021 version. Select the path one by one. After the all path is unlocked, select all the object including both cones, then group them. Go to the edit menu. Copy. Then object menu. Lock. Selection. Go back to the edit menu again. Paste in place. So in this step, we have two grouped object. And for this new object we gonna blur it out. Go to the effect menu. Blur. Gaussian blur. And set the radius to 30 pixels. So, this blurred object that became the impression of the blurred glass. Now we gonna make the glass object. Use rectangle tool to make a long rectangle. For the size, you can make it freely. Use the direct selection tool and make it rounded by using this widget. Again, copy this rounded rectangle. Go to the edit menu, copy, and don't paste it yet. We just copy it and paste for the next step. Select the blurred background or object with this new rounded rectangle. Right click. Make clipping mask. Go to the edit menu and paste in place. Set the stroke to none and set the fill with white. And change the blending mode from normal to soft light in transparency panel. And don't forget to lower the opacity to 50%. Now, we gonna make the texture for this blurry glass. We don't need to create a new object anymore. Just use the paste in place, or you can use the shortcut by pressing the Ctrl Shift and V on the keyboard. Color it with 40% black. Go to the effect menu. Texture. And texturizer. In the texturizer panel, set the texture type to sandstone. Scaling up to 200. Relief to 5. Light as top. And just click OK. Because this texture is covering all object behind it, we must blend it again to bring it back the object behind. In transparency panel, set the blending mode again to soft light. Opacity, 40%. Lastly, we need to give edge for this blurry glass. Paste in place again. Fill color to none, and stroke to white. And lower the opacity to 50%. And finally we have finished this blurry glass effect. But wait, I almost forgot something that is no less important, which is to add a shadow behind it so it's look like more realistic. Just paste in place again. Color it with 80% black. Blur. Radius to 15 pixel. Blend mode to multiply. Lower the opacity to 10%. And lastly, put it in back of all these rounded rectangles. And here we are with this beautiful blurry glass effect. I hope this Adobe Illustrator tutorial is very helpful. And hopefully, this blurry glass effect Adobe Illustrator tutorial can be an inspiration for you. So don't forget to subscribe for those of you who are new to this channel, and don't forget to like, share, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments. See you in the next video.